Hey guys, Gino here today on holiday. Can you tell? Hopefully, I've never recorded here before, so this is a first. Today we have the new Super Junior D&E comeback. It's been a little while since we heard from Dong and Yun Hyuk, so looking forward to this a fair bit. This is danger. Dong and Yun Hyuk, they tend to do dance music with some electronic influence, also some pop style stuff. I don't really know much about this comeback other than it is happening. So going into it with a very, very open mind and I'm looking forward to it a fair bit. I'll only be doing one viewing today just because I'm on holiday, the internet is bad here. So if I uploaded like a 12 minute video, I reckon it would take a day to upload. So yeah, gonna be a shorter one. Anyway, let's get into this. I hope you guys enjoy, allons-y. Getting a nasty reflection off the window over there. Ooh. Okay, got a gritty synth, some sweeps in the background. Oh, yo. That's weird. Squealing across the instrumental. That's faster than I thought it was going to be. Like the hip hop influence on this. Heavy electronic style though. I like the setup of this music video. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit because I feel like it's a I like the weirdness of those synthesizers. They're pretty simple instrumental. Got the really bassy drums. No synths. That switch up there. That was nice. I love the lines with Dongo's hair there. This is a lot grittier than any of their other comebacks. I like rapping Yun Kyuk. It's my favourite Yun Kyuk. Some keyboards there. Some deeply laid vocals as well. It's strangely subdued in portions, which is interesting. I think it's just due to the instruments not being that layered. Ooh, that was a really smooth transition. The setup of this music video is so engaging. Fantastic. That's really good. Dig that a lot. Some superb instrumental moments. As simple as it is, some really, really good moments. I like the music video really engaging. But one of their more emphatic title tracks, I sometimes find their title tracks to be a little bit glossy, highly produced. That was pretty simple and to the point. I love the, the hip hop elements, but really it was focused on the electronic sound. Now, EDM is definitely not a sound that these guys haven't tried before, but I think it was done in a really smart way in which the drums were pretty much uh, laying the entire bass line. There, there was some more sort of bass synths in the background, but you had that eerie squeaky synthesizer laying the melody, <laughs> melody, and then just the drums. And it, it's pretty simple instrumental. Lots of moments there that I liked. I thought that both the, the lads did a really, really good job with their delivery. There wasn't really very many impressive vocal portions, uh, mainly because there wasn't opportunities for that. Uh, I did like Dongae's vocals in the breakdown, and uh, yeah, I thought the chorus was pretty good. Definitely like how they uh, reached that silent point and then full-on 
dropped, but at the same time it wasn't, you know, it, intense. It was just that, that nice level where it wasn't blary at all. Some really smart decisions with the production and the design of the sets, the music video, like the whole aesthetic, engaging, fast paced, focused on the two boys. And uh, yeah, I, I really like a lot of Yonko and Dongae's stuff when they, when they work together. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, definitely like in a comment. I'm sorry this is a shorter video. I'll be back at home in six days, I think it is. And uh, yeah, well, I'll see you then, I guess. Thank you for watching. Gino, sunny out. See you guys soon.